the Princess of Wales ditched her midi dresses for a new look. The coronation of King Charles III and subsequent changes in the dynamics of the royal family were inevitably reflected in a change in the wardrobe of the Princess of Wales, who went from Duchess of Cambridge to Honorary Princess. Her role within the family has become even more important. Sarah Harris, deputy editor of British Vogue, wrote at the time that she hoped Kate would wear more suits in the form of high-waisted wide-leg pants, and a long blazer. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British royal family. Perhaps this memo found its way to the princess, since she hasn't worn much other than suits this fall. There must be lots of midi dresses in Kate's Windsor wardrobe with tiny flowers, polka dots and fun, bold colors, they were her unofficial uniform for her trips to schools and charity centers across the country for at least a decade. But now that she's Princess of Wales, the basis of her royal style is no longer a calf-length belted shirt dress with a pleated skirt, but rather fitted wide-leg pants. Since September, Kate has worn nearly a dozen different renditions of the same corporate look and hasn't been photographed in a dress since the Wimbledon final in July. Today, during a visit to a community centre in Bracknell, walking through a grey-tiled foyer in a pressed white shirt, grey tailored trousers and a slate grey knitted cardigan from Samantha Cameron's Safin workwear brand, Kate looked being the new graduate of a business enterprise. Let's face it, the simple task of getting dressed even with all the help and advice imaginable, when you're the Princess of Wales can't be easy, Harris wrote of the process of creating a royal wardrobe. Nothing is too complicated, so forget about a hard-to-navigate crack or a collar that needs attention. Then there is the impossibility of pleasing absolutely everyone. Because being the wife of the future king and the mother of his heir means the whole world is watching, examination. In her even more senior royal role, Kate has responded to this scrutiny by paring down her work wardrobe to a series of elegantly cut suits that are easy to mix and match and wear with a plain white shirt or t-shirt below. The princess prefers high-waisted pants, slightly cropped or boot-cut and long blazers with buttoned details. Pointed pumps, usually suede, often in a color that perfectly matches the suit at the finishing touch. Whether she's wearing Alexander McQueen, Cezanne, Holland Cooper, Burberry or Roland Murray, the cut is usually the same, but Kate changes it up in terms of color and print. A pantsuit is the ideal choice for a modern princess, it's elegant and timeless, but also practical. The princess doesn't need weights sewn into the hem of her skirts to keep them from blowing in gusts of wind, as the late Queen Elizabeth II would have done, and a gown eliminates the need for tights. Royal gowns should never appear wrinkled, and the tailored cut holds its look much better than a thinly pleated midi, so they're a wise choice in that regard too. This more professional look also reinforces the message that the company and Kate and William in particular are working hard. One final bonus, Wearing variations of the same outfit could draw attention to what highlights the princess and distance her from her highly scrutinized wardrobe. Luckily for Kate, dressing like you work at a hard-working law firm became a theme of the spring 2024 collections. The Boss Show was even titled Corp Core because it addressed traditional codes of executive dress. It went beyond pinstripes and a grey and navy color palette, pins were attached to ties and tucked into buns, and boxy leather briefcases and covers looked like accessories on the platform from Canary Wharf. Bottega Veneta opened with black suits with exaggerated shoulders, while striped shirts and rolled up newspapers overflowed with XL customers in intrecchiato fabric. The accessories also had a workwear feel, with books seen at Miu Miu, as well as bags large enough to accommodate laptops and a change of shoes. 
Lots of inspiration for our new Cork Paw Princess.